I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to show you how I styled this wig commission of Angel Devil from Chainsaw Man. Everything I use in this video will be linked in the description, including the wig itself. I will also have discount codes for other cosplay related items and links to my social media in the description if you wanted to check those out. I am also doing wig commissions and that information can also be found in the description. I unfortunately don't have the videos of me starting the wig, but luckily I didn't get too far. I started the wig by crimping it to add texture. I did this in small sections across the entire wig. Here you can see me working on the bangs. I started at the bottom of the wig and worked my way up. I also had a heat resistant glove on one hand while crimping to make it easier to hold the crimping iron and to make it more comfortable to use. To crimp the wig, you just hold the crimping iron down for a couple of seconds at the top of the wig, then release the hair and move the iron down to crimp the hair below. You repeat this until you reach the bottom of the strand of hair. Once you've crimped the hair, you want to brush it out while it's still warm. You do this to the entire wig, which is a long process but makes the wig easier to style and adds volume. I'm going to leave in clips of a lot of the process but I'll also add timestamps so that if you don't need to see me repeat the same steps, you can skip ahead and go to the next step. Once the entire wig was crimped, I used a flat iron to smooth the texture on the top of the wig. This doesn't get rid of the volume, but gets rid of the sharp ridges from crimping the top. Another way that you can get rid of the ridges is by crimping it again, and then brushing it out again, but that does add a lot more volume. After straightening the top, I sectioned off the bottom of the wig to curve it upwards.
parts that are tucked behind the rest. I again use the flat iron to heat up the section, then use a bobby pin to hold it in place while I worked on the other sections around it. I then worked on the part that goes over the tucked back hair and frames the face. I used the flat iron to pull it into a place on top of the hair tucked under it. I then thinned the hair to make it easier to curve. I then curved it to frame the face, curling the hair around the flat iron and holding it until it cools just like the back of the hair. I then did the same thing on the other side of the head with the part that tucks under and the part that frames the face. The left side I trimmed shorter than the right. Once I had the face framing and bangs styled, I continued with the top of the wig. I curled it upwards following the same process as the bottom of the wig. For the section of the hair that sticks up more than the rest, I started to backcomb the hair. I then brushed out the backcombing while leaving some close to the head to help the section stand up.
Once I used the steam and the scissors to get rid of the flyaways, I also added glue to the end of the sections that stands up to help hold it up in place. Once everything was set with the tacky glue, the steamer, and the scissors, the wig was finally done and ready to be packed up and shipped. Thank you for watching this video and let me know what tutorials you want to see next. Don't forget to check the description for what I use, discounts, commissions, and my socials. Bye!